Yo, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to get a free copy of my book, Nuts, Efficient Dating for Men, so you can learn how to bust a nut whenever you want. And then with further ado, enjoy the video. All right, guys, what's up? It's just Mark, and right now, we're actually throwing a house party. Me and my good friend, we decided to throw a massive mansion party. We're here with the hottest girls we could possibly meet, the most promiscuous girls that we could possibly meet. And we decided to ask the beautiful women in Toronto what they prefer. Do they prefer doggy style? Do they prefer missionary? What their favorite sex position is? And how they like to build intimacy with men in relationships. So we're gonna jump in the video. And remember, we are doing a $100 cash giveaway. All you gotta do is like this video, subscribe, and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Drunk Justin, and you're automatically entered into our $100 cash giveaway. Come, squeeze in, squeeze in. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, what's, oh, f my asshole. All right, guys, what's up? I'm just joined here with. Angie? You don't even know our names. I don't know your names. Tell me your fucking what names. Fuck. Alex. Kaya. Oh. Name. I'm Cynthia. Cynthia. Actually, I'm Lilo. What the fuck am I saying? She's Lilo. My name is Lilo. We're at a costume party. You guys like your outfit? Leave a comment down below if you like it. I hate it. No, I'm teasing. I like it. What is your favorite sex position? <laughs> when guys are on top and I'm like lying on my back. So when guys are on top but you're lying on your back, yeah. so it's like ass to mouth. I got it. Ass to mouth's fun. That's cool. What's your What's your favorite Can sex I position? Can I see two? Sure. Okay. Body style. Okay. And me riding on top. So you like riding guys? Like Cowgirl? That's a good one. I have a question for you. Yes. What is your favorite sex position? Missionary. Missionary. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a basic bitch. What's your favorite sex position? So when position? it goes deep. Really? I think so. <laughs> Alex, I have a very inappropriate question for you. What is your favorite sex position? Oh my god. Where is my boyfriend? Ah, your boyfriend's right there, it's fine. <laughs> Your favorite sex position is nothing. Missionary. Missionary. Is that your guys' favorite sex position, boyfriend? Yeah, I've never had sex before. You've never had sex before? Is that true? She's lying. She's lying, guys. <laughs> What's your favorite sex position? I like doggy. Cool. What's your favorite sex position? Prone bone. From behind. What is the prone bone? Can you demonstrate? Prone bones when he, you're laying down and they just fuck you from behind. It's the laziest position ever, I gotta say. But, you know, it's the best one. Interesting. Is it good for, like, deep penetration? To move it up. Pardon? It's good for, like, deep penetration? Yes. What is your favorite sex position? Doggy style. So, if you're in a relationship with a guy and he's not good at doggy style, how would you feel about that? It just wouldn't work. Okay, so another question. What position are you best at? I would say riding on top. Yeah. Sky, what position are you best at? Like, any of them? I don't know. All dog. Them? Everything. What the fuck? What does that <laughs> look like? Everything. Awesome. Everything. What position are you best at? Dude, I am. I think pretty good at just lying down, to fucking taking that. So you're just a starfish, just getting it. No, but I like move a little, you know, like I. I, I, I <laughs> so you're not like a starfish. You're more like a catfish. No, no I. <laughs> Got it. Uh, what, what about you? What is the position you're best at? I don't know. Can I be good at I feel like I just like If you were to meet a guy who's not good at missionary or not good in bed, would that be attractive? No, absolutely not. So do you think you'd be able to build intimacy with him and date him? No, probably not. See, I don't care about sex, so maybe. You don't no, care about I sex. sex. No, sex. I need sex. No, no, no. That's important. Like a guy could have like a micro penis, I'll be okay with that. So what do you what do you look for when you're you know building intimacy or an intimate relationship? Money. Money. No. Oh, 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 the truth comes out. The truth comes out, bitch. You know what? It's funny. You get a little bit of drinks in them, and the truth comes out, guys. All right, ladies. If you are in an intimate relationship, dating a guy, experiencing cool experiences, and having lots of fun, and he's not good at prone bone or he's not good in bed, how would you feel? If you were to get intimate with a man and he's not good in bed, do you think you'd be able to pursue that relationship or date him? Why? I mean, if he has a, if he has a really good personality, then yes. But if he doesn't, then what's the point? True. Makes sense. That means there's no real Even connection. Even if they have a good personality, though. That means there's no real connection. So, that means they're just meant to be friends. So you think if you hook up with a guy but the sex isn't good, there's no connection? Like, I could try to train them to make it good, but after training, if it doesn't work, if they don't pass the test, 
That makes sense. It's sense. What about you? You think you think like personality is the most important factor in a relationship? I think it's one of the most important. Yeah. One of. Yeah. One of. Cool. Yeah. If you have a boyfriend or you're building intimacy with a man, and he's not good at doggy style, he's not good in bed. Do you think you could pursue that relationship? I could, but we definitely have to work on it and definitely have to be like, this isn't working, you need to improve, like we need to get something together, we need to work it out, otherwise I don't know what's gonna happen. What if he just didn't improve, he didn't take your advice, he didn't get better? <sighs> like, you know, you give it a couple months, but if like nothing happens, you kind of have to like start, you have to like break things off because you can't be with someone for the rest of your life who can't like fulfill you sexually because it's just gonna be a shit. Like why would you stay with someone till you're like 40 who can't even have good sex? So you think sex is a very important part of a relationship? Oh, totally, yeah, no, no, it's super important. Like I know there's a lot of other important things but sex is super important, yeah. So let's say you're, you know, hooking up with a guy, you really like him, things are intimate, things are hot, they're passionate and you know, he's not good in bed. Would you cut it off and you pursue it? What would you do? In the moment? Like overall? I would have to train them if they can't be trained. What about you? What would you do? I would do the same. The same. Cool. Yeah. You gotta give them a chance. Yeah. Awesome. What advice would you recommend? To the guy, talk to the girl about like what she actually wants because sometimes girls are afraid to speak up about what they want and bed like a lot of girls are quite shy so I think the guy like ask questions like be like you know not like aggressive or accusing me like oh you think I'm shit but be like hey like what can I do better like how can I make this feel better for you you know like a lot every, every girl's different so what would you do if the guy didn't improve do you think you'd break off the relationship yeah like if it's a new relationship and he doesn't improve within a few months then yeah I probably would because it's just not worth my time Okay. I'm gonna stop it. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. So guys, if you don't get good in bed, Kaya's gonna break up with you. And so will all the other girls. <laughs> so. By the way, are you guys into girls? Yeah. Okay, kiss each other. Kiss each other. No. Do it. <laughs> Thumbnail! <laughs> we got we gotta do it one more time. <laughs> guys, kiss. Guys, kiss. Guys, we got the motherfucking thumbnail. Wait, wait, do it. Whoa. Do, do it one more time. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. Guys, I'm happy to say. Guys, that's cool. I have a video of you being like, I kiss every girl in this room. I love that. I love you. Mm. That's really good. Wow. You've been working out. I love you. What the fuck? You love you back. I'm in love with you. <laughs> All right, ladies, thank you for being my interview. It's, it's true. It's true. <clears throat> All the best. I wish you the best of life. God bless. And there you have it, guys. It seems if you don't get good in bed, the girls don't want to be with you. They don't want to date you. They don't want to get intimate with you. So it's very important that you practice. Practice makes perfect, guys. And just remember, we are doing a $100 cash giveaway. All you gotta do is like this video, subscribe, and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Drunk Justin, and you're automatically entered into our $100 cash giveaway. Also, guys, right now we're on a world tour. Right now we're in Canada, and we can go anywhere in the world right now. We can go anywhere. So leave a comment down below where you're from, what city you're from. Maybe we'll come to your city. Just let me know, and we'll see you guys there. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, what is up? We just made some new friends on the street. Girls, say hi. Nick, say hi. Girls, I love you. Whoa, that was my first kiss. Was it? I've never kissed a girl before. Okay, this is sexual harassment. <laughs> say hi. Say hi. Nicholas, say hi. Say hi. Yeah. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Justin. Get it? No, but I like to so you're not like a starfish, you're more like a catfish. <laughs> 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 <laughs>